Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? Let's begin by observing a river flowing through a dense forest. With a boat slowly moving on its waters, there are several men on the boat, one of whom is lying down among them. One of the men explains the notorious reputation of the area, known for its abundance of deadly snakes, including the feared red anaconda, which is believed to have been summoned by a group of cannibals. This gigantic and aggressive anaconda is well known for hunting humans, questioning their fate. One man directs his question to Jeff, who is sitting with his back to the group near a bottle containing a snake submerged in liquid, unnoticed by the others. Jeff takes a sip from the bottle just as a snake quickly approaches the boat. It is swiftly captured and contained by one of the men, expressing their dissatisfaction with the agreed-upon profit distribution. A reclining man complains about it and demands a larger percentage upon completion. It becomes clear that they are on a mission organized by Jeff, who hired them for this venture. As they venture deeper into the jungle, they eventually stop along the riverbank. The man providing information about the snake infestation in the region acts as their guide and reveals his reluctance to continue accompanying them due to inadequate compensation, giving in to his demands. Jeff offers more money by throwing it on the boat floor, which the guide eagerly retrieves. Jeff then asks if this additional payment is enough, and the guide confirms that it is, only to be quickly betrayed by Jeff, who plunges a dagger into his neck. The guide starts bleeding and Jeff swiftly kills him by beheading him and tossing his body into the river. Turning to the remaining two individuals, Jeff expresses his anger at being deceived, terrifying them. One of them insists that the agreed-upon price will not change, causing Jeff to slap him across the face with his bloodied hand. Meanwhile, a red anaconda emerges from the water, devouring the remains of the deceased guide. As Jeff ventures deeper into the forest, his true objective becomes clear. He is searching for the red anaconda. Discovering a sculpture of a snake and several discarded snakeskins behind it confirms the truth of the legend. At the same time, the other two stumble upon a well filled with snakes and start collecting them in their bags. As one of them returns to the boat with the bags, he notices a red anaconda nearby and tries to escape, but is swiftly captured and killed. The other man, wandering with a bag, also falls victim to the same anaconda. Jeff arrives and witnesses the man's demise but chooses not to intervene planning to tranquilize the red anaconda once it finishes its meal. However, his plan goes awry when the anaconda gets distracted by monkeys and leaves, leaving behind the lifeless body of the man. Elsewhere, a circus performance is underway, and the owner, Jiang, announces a variety of acts, including a strongman bear named Dodu, a juggler named Ali, and Gonglan, who performs an act called Escaping the Water Cage, is handcuffed and submerged in a water-filled container as she attempts to free herself. Unexpectedly, a python falls into the container with her, but she remains submerged even after the allotted time has passed. The lights go off and then back on, revealing that it was all part of the illusion. She emerges unharmed, holding the python, but the audience is angry at being deceived. It is discovered that a child named Away, dressed in a costume, was actually the one performing the bear act. Outraged spectators criticize Lan's extravagant costume for the occasion, causing her to remove her shirt. When a man tries to touch her, he is bitten by the python. Later, in the dressing room, the owner scolds the group for their performance. Bang, a former member who left two years ago, arrives and offers to buy the show from Mr. Jung. Ali flirts with Bang, who suggests they perform together and promises to make them international stars. He announces their upcoming trip to Thailand, and the group eagerly agrees. Bang asks about Lan's involvement but she leaves with her python. Jimmy, the group is on the boat, getting ready to leave, and Dodu and Away feel disheartened by Lan's departure. However, when the Chinese guide asks about their departure, Mr. Jiang says they are waiting for someone. Lan also arrives at the boat, convinced by Bang to do one last show with him in exchange for canceling their contracts. Later, Bang heads to the restroom to have a private conversation about a suspicious delivery involving the others. Unfortunately, he accidentally drops his phone into the river. While secretly watching Lan change through a crack in the wall, a snake approaches Bang's leg and bites him in a sensitive area. Luckily, the snake turns out to be non-venomous, and with the help of the captain, they manage to kill it. The group is then introduced to Bang's cousin, who pretends to be a zombie. The next day, they come across an obstacle in the river and try to remove it using explosives. However, the explosion causes a swarm of snakes to flood onto their boat, causing panic. Lanius uses pressurized water to scatter the snakes and restore order amidst the chaos. Bang falls into the water and swims towards the edge of the river. Bang is being chased by a snake, luckily, on the river bank. He narrowly avoids getting bitten by the snake. Jeff arrives just in time to kill the snake by smashing its head. Bang and Jeff then go back to the ship together. 
Jeff explains that he had an accident a few days ago and was left stranded. Meanwhile, a small snake has entered Dodo's ear, causing him a lot of pain. Jeff helps Dodo by using his own finger as bait to remove the snake from his ear. When asked how he knew how to do this, Jeff reveals that he is an experienced jungle explorer and has learned various survival skills over time. Later that night, Lon confides in Bang and expresses doubts about Jeff's claims of being a wilderness explorer. She reveals that the snake taken out of Dodo's ear was poisonous, but Jeff was unaffected, suggesting that he may have developed immunity from multiple snake bites. Lon tells Bang to get rid of Jeff from the boat quickly. Meanwhile, Jeff approaches the captain while he is fishing and offers him money to take him to the location of the Red Anaconda, but the captain refuses. At the same time, Bang tries to convince Lon to sleep with him, but she rejects him and calls him disgusting before leaving. Suddenly, the captain's fishing rod falls into the water, and when he bends down to retrieve it, he is pulled underwater by an unseen force. The next morning, Lon searches for the captain and finds Jeff cutting fish and throwing them into the water. She discovers the lifeless body of the captain underwater. Caught on hooks, Jeff confesses to murdering the captain, attributing it to the unpredictable nature of the rainforest where passengers often vanish. As Bang and the others approach, they hear a commotion and witness a flock of birds flying away. Jeff warns them of an imminent danger, and soon the red anaconda emerges. Getting entangled in a hook, Jeff tries to capture it, but the hook breaks, causing him to fall into the water. He manages to climb onto a small lifeboat and engages in a struggle with the red anaconda. Injuring it, the anaconda flips Jeff's boat, forcing him to return to the main ship with malicious intentions. The snake reaches the boat and spits out the lifeless body of the captain onto the deck, initiating an attack on the group. Jang and Bang's cousin are relentlessly pursued, while Jeff bravely confronts the anaconda, diverting its attention from the others. Lon seeks refuge in the cabin and grabs the captain's crossbow. Meanwhile, Dodu and Away hide in the bathroom, only to find themselves trapped by the relentless predator. Away's attempt to seek refuge in the cabin leads to a confrontation with the anaconda, while Dodu temporarily contains it by trapping its head in a clay pot, disoriented. The anaconda struggles to free itself from the makeshift trap. Amidst the chaos, a fire breaks out on the boat, eventually reaching the explosives and causing a catastrophic explosion. The group jumps into the water to escape the raging fire that is consuming their boat. Thankfully, they are able to make it to the riverbank. Away is saddened by the loss of the boat and realizes they won't be able to reach it in time. Lon directs her anger towards Jeff, blaming him for using their boat as bait and endangering their lives. Jeff defends his actions, saying that if they had worked together, they could have gained great wealth since the snake is extremely valuable. Bang gets excited at the mention of riches, while Lon angrily curses Jeff. In the midst of the argument, Bang insists that they need to find a way to escape the situation. Jeff offers his boat as a means to reach the port in two days, but Lon refuses to trust him, accusing him of causing the captain's death. Jeff denies the accusation, leaving the group to decide who to believe. Bang sides with Jeff while Away stays on the riverbank. Suddenly, Away gets stung by a poisonous bee, and Jeff reveals that she needs antibiotics within 48 hours to survive, with no other options. The group reluctantly agrees to follow Jeff, who claims to have antibiotics on his boat. The group makes a stop at a stream where Ollie is about to drink water when Jeff stops him, showing him dead praying mantises in the water. He warns them about an infectious parasite that causes intense thirst and often leads victims to drown while trying to quench it. They then notice a hole at the bottom of a nearby tree. Jeff uses his hand to lure a python for food. While the group prepares to cook the python, Jeff decides to eat it raw because he doesn't want to attract other predators with the smell of cooked food. He tells the others to eat quickly. Dodu, who cannot speak, encourages Lon to eat, but she refuses. Bang offers Jeff a cooked piece of python but Jeff gives him a raw piece instead. Jeff notices birds flying away, indicating the approach of a red anaconda. The anaconda attacks and grabs away, but Lon and Dodu hold on to him, allowing Jeff to drive the anaconda away by stabbing it with a makeshift spear. A strange parasite enters the cousin's neck, so the group seeks shelter in a nearby cave for the night. As the cave has snake repellent, Lon and Ollie have an honest conversation about their lives. In a flashback, Jeff remembers his first encounter with the red anaconda. He managed to survive by hiding in a coffin that was thrown into the river during the attack. Jeff explains to Bang the high value of reticulated pythons and the unique characteristics of the mutant red anaconda, which has distinct red markings. He suggests that capturing it could bring them enough wealth for a lifetime. Bang eagerly agrees and confesses his plan to betray the group and sell them out. Later that night, Jang wakes up from a nightmare and realizes that his cousin is missing. The cousin, lured by the parasite, heads towards the water and becomes a victim of the red anaconda. The next day, the group needs to cross a flooded path with the red anaconda lurking nearby. 
Suddenly, the snake emerges from the water and attacks Zhang, despite Lan's brave attempt to save him. She fails, and Zhang is killed by the snake. The group finally reaches the boat, where Jeff arms himself and gives Lan a bag of medicine. Jeff desperately asks them to help capture the red anaconda so they can go back home. When they refuse, he and Bang resort to threats, explaining that the anaconda is only vulnerable when it's feeding. Jeff decides to use Dodu as bait to lure the anaconda for capture. While Dodu pleads for release, Bang coldly reveals his plan to sell their organs, regardless of how they die. Nearby, Ali and Lan are tied up, but Ali manages to convince Jeff to set her free. However, she manipulates him into a vulnerable position and seizes the gun, only to discover that it is jammed. Jeff retrieves the gun and gets ready to retaliate, but Lan manages to free herself and intervenes by stabbing him in the back. While they struggle, the red anaconda approaches. Bang, who is approaching Dodu, prepares to trap it in a net, but ends up being attacked by another anaconda, unintentionally ensnaring Dodu in the process, saving them from harm. Initially, Jeff has the upper hand, but Lan strikes him with a log, causing him to faint. As the girls hurry to free Dodu and escape, Jeff is grabbed and dragged away by an anaconda. In the midst of the chaos, Ali is shot and succumbs to his wound, dying in the arms of his friends. Lon, away from the commotion, and Dodu seek refuge on the boat but delay their departure. Suddenly, Dodu is hit by a tranquilizer dart and falls unconscious, and Lon realizes that Jeff is responsible. In a flashback, it is revealed that Jeff had killed the red anaconda by beheading it, and now he sets a trap for the remaining one, using the survivors as bait. As Jeff prepares to capture the snake, a group of giant pythons surrounds the three bound survivors. Just as one of the serpents is about to attack, the red anaconda unexpectedly appears and attacks its relative, causing the rest of the pythons to scatter. Seizing the opportunity, Jeff pulls the net, but the red anaconda breaks free and traps Jeff in a tree. During the struggle, although he manages to briefly break free, he is eventually captured and eaten by the red anaconda. Away manages to chew through his restraints, freeing the others as the snake searches for them. Away hides in nearby crates, but the red anaconda eventually finds him, just as it is about to attack. Dota pulls away out, but the red anaconda grabs his foot. Luckily, Lon quickly injures the snake with a wooden stake. The anaconda regurgitates Jeff, and Lon distracts it, leading it away. She hides in a coffin hanging from a tree, but the red anaconda discovers her. It wraps around the coffin and crushes it, but fortunately Lon escapes through the bottom. As the group runs away, a small snake attacks the giant red anaconda but gets eaten. Buying the group some precious time, Datu uses a large piece of wood to thrust into the anaconda's mouth, while Lon stabs it in the eye in a desperate attempt to escape its relentless pursuit. The group reaches a wire trap set up by Jeff, and when the red anaconda emerges from the ground, its head is severed by the suspended wire. The group gets on the boat and escapes, but the final scene shows the headless body of the red anaconda rising again as the survivors reach safety in a populated area.